The most important four kilometre horse race in the world, the Group 1 Gold Cup from Royal Ascot. Six year old Coltrane was a narrow favourite from Eldar Eldarov. Ascot United FC, they had a good season. Who's going to land the future race? At the Royal Meeting, Yabir was slowing to stride. He was the one that gave him a couple length starts. So, the early stages of the Gold Cup. It's Lone Eagle who's up in trips, taking a bit of a grip out in the lead, and Subjectivist is gradually moving to the front. Lone Eagle's raced fiercely through the first furlong towards the inside in that headgear. Emily Dickinson and Broom, the Aiden O'Brien pair, disputing third place at this stage. Coltrane has settled in roundabout fifth place on the outside of Wise Eagle. Echoes in Rain comes next. Eldar Eldarov just a bit scratchy through the first furlong and a half there. Didn't stride out with any great purpose on the outside of Courage Mon Ami. And big call and Yabir who was restrained on jumping out at the back markers. So Subjectivist has adopted this front running role as expected and makes his way across the intersection has the advantage by just over a length. Lone Eagle is in second, Emily Dickinson races in third. Broom in the check colours in fourth place just ahead of Wise Eagle who races in fifth. In sixth place is Coltrane just ahead of Echoes in Rain on the inside of Nate the Great. Then we have Courage Mon Ami alongside Eldar Eldarov and the back pair are Big Cool and Jabir. So Subjectivist has the lead from Lone Eagle who continues to race a little keenly in second despite taking the trail. As the crowd send them out on their final circuit, Subjective is just beginning to press on slightly. There's now about six lengths between first and third, and that third is Emily Dickinson with Broom, then Wise Eagle and Coltrane as they turn away from the stands. Echoes in Ray races on the inside of Nate the Great, Elder Elder Rob on the outside of Courage Mon Ami, who has two behind at this stage as they make the turn, and they are Big Call and Jabir. And Jabir would now be about 15 lengths behind Subjectivist just scatters the pigeons as they race inside the final mile and a half. Subjectivist by two lengths. In second place is Lone Eagle, four lengths back to Emily Dickinson, a length and a half to Broom. Wise Eagle in fifth on the inside of Coltrane, then Echoes in Rain in the green and red, Nate's the Great, Eldar Eldaroff racing on the outside of Courage Mon Ami, Frankie Dottori currently three from the back with Big Call and Jabir. This is where Subjectivist won his Gold Cup two years ago. He stole away on the descent to Swindley Bottom, and he has the lead by about four lengths. He's increased the advantage over Lone Eagle, but not necessarily over the rest of the field, because Lone Eagle has dropped back into uh, only a length in advance of Emily Dickinson, Broom, and then Wise Eagle. Behind these, Coltrane, who sat mid-division throughout, with Echoes in Rain, Nate's the Great, Courage Mon Ami, Elder Eldarov, Big Call, and Yabir, who for the first time has just closed up to be amongst horses, albeit right at the back so subjectivist now moves on by about four in third place emily dickinson ryan moore's just moved emily dickinson off the fence still only in third just guaranteeing lone eagle's not going to end up in his lap broom is fourth as now they begin the turn and this is where stamina will really begin to tell the steady climb uphill in the gold cup in fifth place is wise eagle coltrane in sixth echoes in rain nate the great eldar elder of courage mon ami big call and still at the back is your beer subjectivist just trying to fill the tank out in front. Lone Eagle closes to within about a length and a half as they climb uphill and make their way towards the final five furlongs. Emily Dickinson then brew behind these. Coltrane just beginning to try and move a little bit closer on the outside of Wise Eagle. Behind these, Eldar Eldaroff is beginning to make a move. Striped colours. Courage Mon Ami tries to get on his back with Big Call and Yabir. So they're well bunched now. Subjectivist to the first time feeling some pressure for a rival and that rival's Lone Eagle as they begin now to make the turn. Coltrane Train has moved steadily through the field, is now joint third with Emily Dickinson. Then behind these, Broom, Elder Elderoff is very wide round the bend as they straighten. And now in the lead, a lone eagle kicks for glory. Coltrane and Emily Dickinson, then echoes in rain. On the inside, Courage Mon Ami is making ground for Frankie Dottori. It's getting messy out wider. Coltrane has the lead. Courage Mon Ami in the red cap. Subjectivist on the inside. Then Emily Dickinson. Courage Mon Ami for Frankie Dottori. Moves alongside Coltrane. The two fight out the Gold Cup. Courage Mon Ami, but on the inside, still fighting back Coltrane. Courage Mon Ami with the red cap. Frankie Dottori will win on his final Gold Cup ride. But John and Thady Gostin, Courage Mon Ami remains unbeaten. In second place, Coltrane subjectivist Emily Dickinson fight out third. Nate the great Elder Elderoff never looked comfortable. Yabir was never involved. Big call likewise.
this Courage Mon Ami in a race that hasn't been the happiest for Frankie. Well, little Frankie de Tori works his magic. Courage, or Courage Mon Ami, maybe this guy will be a rival for Kiprios. Coltrane, the fave, was as gritty and dogged as ever, and a marvellous effort from Subjectivist. Check the odds, pick a win. spent a lot of money on horses in training, and here's a crucial moment in the race, Jason. Frankie sticks on the inside where he didn't go on Stradivarius. Yeah, and no, listen, last he was just about, or the second, third last. I'm sure Ruby will have a good look at that, and he didn't get much luck on the way through in our previous contest, but is able to scythe his way through the track up over this extreme distance, going a little bit smoother, a little bit slower. The gap's going that little bit slower as well. And this is the difference, Frankie Dottori, from 12 months ago, where his confidence was low. He goes wide on Stradivarius. This time he's retiring. He says it doesn't matter. I don't mind anymore. If it goes Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Where's your home?